What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. What's wrong, James? Hmm? Rise and shine, James. Up and at him. Time for a new day. Practice. Getting ready for the game. You look a little glassy eyed there, James, my boy. What's wrong? Too much late night activity? Too much. Too much uh, nocturnal looky action going on. Mr. James Harden, get your ass up and go play that game. Oh, starting to catch up with you, ain't it, huh? You ain't 27 no more, ain't it? Shit starting to catch up with you, Mr. James. It's a damn shame, Mr. James. I'm tired of being right about this motherfucker, honestly. I, I, I'm actually getting tired of being right about the guy. But, you know, people are slowly coming around to the realization of, of what this guy's about. You know, um, all he does, all I, you know, like I've said before, he's just, he's basically Russell Westbrook with a step back three. You know, it's funny, whenever. Russell Westbrook has a four or five plus turnover game. It always gets mentioned. Last night, James Harden had three turnovers in the fourth quarter, six overall. He leads the NBA in turnovers per game. And the only reason why he doesn't lead the league in, to in total turnovers is because of all the games that he's missed this year. <clears throat> 17 points. He missed two critical free throws in the fourth quarter. 0 for 4 from three-point range, all right? This year, I don't know why this isn't being mentioned or scrutinized or criticized, but he's shooting 33.5% from outside. 33.5%. But people love to bring up the fact that Kobe shot 33% from three for his career. And Mike shot 32.7%, right? People love to bring that up. And they played in two different eras. Where people could be more physical defensively. Guys could run you off the three-point line easier. Um, they could close out on you easier. But somehow, magically, James Harden, in this three-point friendly era, is only shooting 33.5% from three. And 41% from the floor. But these things don't get mentioned. They, it's like, I don't know, man. It's like, it's like I'm in the twilight zone, and I'm the only motherfucker seeing shit. Me, Ticket, and 78. We're the only motherfucker seeing shit. Everybody else, oh, man, but, you know, man, what, the, what are you talking about? Jonah B choking too. I, I knew this shit was not going to work. They're too similar. They're two ball dominant players. They're going to dominate the basketball. Other motherfuckers is getting kind of like shut out offensively. I haven't seen all of their games, but anybody that's seen all of their games since James Harden has arrived, I'm going to go on a limb. And said Tobias Harris has looked the same since. Am I right? I'm not saying he hasn't had any good games, but I'm just going to make an assumption that Tobias Harris has probably suffered the most since James, Har James Harden came over. If these motherfuckers lose the first round, I don't want nobody giving these motherfuckers no passes because I swear to God, Stephen A. Smith, Skip Bayless, Shannon Sharp, Nick Wright, all you motherfuckers. I want to see Chris, Chris Broussard. I'm telling you, I'm going to do a video about every one of these motherfuckers if they give him passes. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. All of the, all of the shit that Russ has done this year, uh, as far as fucking up, 
and the media be going in on them, fine. 90% of it is justified. But these motherfuckers refuse to go in on this dude with his history. I'm like a powder keg, man. I'm trying, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm gonna fucking blow if they give this motherfucker a pass again, man. Some bullshit to the extent of, well, you know, James Harden's a great player. Um, hate to see this happen to him. Uh, just had a bad series. Sad shit, Steve Nixon. I dare you, motherfucker. I double dare you. I dare you with fucking extra chili and fucking uh, goddamn guacamole on that bitch. I dare you to do that shit, motherfucker. I'm going to go in on your bald ass. You better go in on this motherfucker. You pick and choose pussy ass nigga.